Right, Blake, in the Dirt Shed Show, we normally rank people's bikes on a super ice or a nice scale. Yes, on the back vault. Yes, well, in this video, we're going to rank our viewers' bikes. And we've got a sliding scale now. Ooh. So we'll take a look at some bikes. And we've got, starts off super nice, of course. We've got a nice, meh, and a super sh. Super sh. How do you feel about saying that about someone else's bike? I'm mean, very conscious of it. Well, we've got some in there. Uncomfortable. We, just you wait until we see what bikes okay. we've got. Anyway, let's go. We're in with Francois's bike. It's a Commissaire Clash. It's in Ooh. Bromont, Quebec. It's the big travel bike, so it's like the bike park bike. I actually quite like the Meta, but this one... Uh, for me, it's like... I'm sure it's good, but it's kind of nondescript, you know what I mean? So I'm kind <sighs> of tempted by a nice... Well, what about Chrome? What do you think of Chrome bike? I like a Chrome Ollie BMX. I no, but this is Chrome. Like, yeah, it's but really chrome. shiny. Yeah, I know. I don't, I don't think that gets past the nice for me. Yeah. Yeah. What you say? What you're saying, meh? No, I think that's good. Yeah, it's not. It is a good bike. It's, it's nice. 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 It's nice. Nice. All right. Now we're into a retro. What? Martin Ashton special. I might have said this hundred times, but I'll say it again. My Martin Ashton replica would be a red Candel with yellow stickers, not a blue one. But although Martin disagrees, because I think he rode these for longer. I think he did. Do you know what? I got these brakes on my little man's bike. It is it's absolutely as Martin would have ridden it. It's got a grip shift. Check how it's got two grip shifts, even though the one is not attached. Yes, because he was paid to do grip shift, and obviously he has... Put their money and ran. And ran. Money. <laughs> Uh, Saw them coming. I don't know what year. I don't know. We, we it's got a Martin signature up. on there. What year would this have been? Martin would tell us straight away. I don't know. I know. Go on. 1880 <laughs> ages ago. <sighs> Bear trap pedals, DCD, Dave's chain device. Do you know what that is? It's that Union Jack painted up thing on the chain. Oh, today. that thing there, yeah. Would stop your chain slapping around way, way before clutches. Do you know what? That actually is. It's quite. It is super I, nice. I mean. Uh, I feel like we've been sort of strong armed in saying this has got to be, gotta super, be super nice. nice. We've no other options. Oh, he's got the Mavic <laughs> DV321, is it? Uh, yeah, no, it wasn't that. It was D. 30, D320. They were all D. They were fancy. That's ceramic rim, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it's very With nice. With those, you know what sort of sound you get from that rim and tire? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and that's what makes it super hey. sh for me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 What are you going, saying? We'll, what, what no, are you saying? no. We've you said it. You hit the nail well, on the head. I feel like we've got to agree on uh, rating. Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Because <laughs> Mr. Ashton always goes gidding, 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 gidding in the Dirt Shed Show for the bike vault. True. For every single Cannondale that pops up. So, yeah, super. So you're <laughs> agreeing with me. I'll agree with you, yeah. Oh, blast from the past. Now, I Dude, remember these. I so, do remember these. One of my friends rode for... Did he? Is the it, Mad Team. Yeah, no, was it Saracen? Is That's it Saracen? a Saracen. Yeah, yeah. It was a Saracen Mad Team. Yeah, yeah. They jumped over drifting cars. I remember it in MBUK magazine. And I was like, oh, I need that bike. Well, this is, it says, an ultra low budget Saracen X Tour. That's what it's called. Low budget? But, I, they well, were I mean, like top of the range yeah, but I mean, back low, then. It's not got a seat post. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's low budget. And it's also it's got one sing gear. single speed, but it hasn't got um, horizontal chain stays, so it's kind of just... Just whack. floppy, floppy, floppy chain. That's going to come off since you try and pedal it. That's and awesome Because you, you haven't got a seat post, you're going to slam... Well, what are you going to do? Is that... Um, what? Mafia bikes. It looked like Mulvin sticker. I thought that. But it's Mafia bikes. It's uh, Mafia bikes. And he hasn't even got Maxxis tyres, or has he? I mean, nah. I feel like I don't want to slate it, but, nah. but I could, because... Nah. Well, surely it's, worse nah. than, surely it's worse than that. Yeah, there's another photo of that which is worse, where he's got a stem as a seat post clap. It's not got a seat post. It, uh, come on, there's <laughs> got to be s***. Okay, super s***. Sorry, okay. I'm afraid. I'm very so. sorry. Now, this is super s***. Oh, well, I would, you know. Why? Look at it. it it's is... got everything that you would think of a typical e-bike rider. Yeah. Bolted to a bike. I mean, I would definitely, if someone told me what it was, I'd say super shit. It's a Cannondale right. Jackal with an e-bike bolt-on motor. It's got bar, on, bar ends on bar ends. It's got seat uh, 
What's he got? What is that? A bottle mine on the back of the seat. It sounds to really catch all the shit. But it's almost so bad, it's like there's something good about it. It redeems itself with being so bad. In what point are you feeling those vibes or not? No. Candle Jackals, I think they were pretty bad in the first place. And then uh, I could, there's something I like about it. And I, I hate it, but there's something about it. You like that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mate. No, you don't. No, I don't. Okay. What? No, I think that is. I'll tell you some details. It's got a TSD Z2 bolt. It's got an STD, not a TSD. 6 volt, 250 watt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got loads of batteries. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. No, no, oh, okay. Neil. Yeah, you, you can vote on that one. So now we're going. So in, <laughs> okay, well now we're going. Chris has got a very, very fancy Santa Cruz Bronson <laughs> CC. I bet this guy has super white teeth. Well, that's the joke, isn't it? This would be a dentist bike. Dentist bike. If you're from the UK and you live around London, <coughs> Peace Lake and the Surrey Hills, you would ride one of these. I mean, it is really, really nice. But it's it's an incredible bike. I'm not not no doubt about it. But and what, it's colour coded the fork are stickers you trying because to say you it's, it's not super nice because it's too nice to be a super nice. No, I would say that is a super nice. Why is that? It's got to be. It's got to be like. Look at the, yeah, like I said, the fork decal. No, but he's gone into absolute detail, okay? Fork decals is one thing. Yes, he's got a Fidlock bottle, yes, but he's got the gold forks, Kashima, Kashima dropper, yeah, yes, okay, course, cool. because all the biggest But budget. then he, look at, I think that's a one-up dropper post lever, because it, Fox don't do that lever. So that is definitely a blue turquoise lever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One other thing that point, like, blows my mind, that he's gone into more detail than anything, look at the rims, look at the valve covers. Oh, no. They look like reserve wheels. Are they not? They are. The, well, I don't know what they are. PT stickers. Do you like the PT stick on the head? But I think those are PT valves to match. They are. Yeah. Around. Match that logo Fukushima, graphic. Yeah. Oh. I mean, he's yes. gone into detail there. It's got to be super nice. And actually, he's gone for us. I've got one more thing to point out. Right. It's not just gone XTR you know, carbon fiber blades for his levers and all that jazz. He's got an XT. Yeah. Which means so he's is like, it, it does the job, why go the extra mile? He's the working man's dentist. Is that it? Super nice. Uh, right, okay, rolling on to a okay. GT Aggressor Pro. Now, no, I'm not gonna say, knock it. I, exactly, I started on I'm a not bike. gonna knock it. I started on a bike, it was nowhere near as good as this, but that is your good, Getting into mountain biking, love this. Gonna buy a cool bike, I'm gonna ride it to death. That's what you get. And then you save up your pennies and you buy something Actually, a little bit more. Or you upgrade it. Christopher says, I've been riding for six months, not very good yet. Still fat and slow, lol. That's the bike, that's the bike you need. That's the bike you need. So, I mean. I'm gonna say that's a super nice I can't, I don't agree. I think it's gotta be a nice, because it's it's a nice bike. Okay, yeah, I agree. Yeah, nice. Rolling yeah. down. Oh, this hard, I know hard tells you would go super nice straight That's away. That's sick. Look at the top tube. Well, I mean, now it's getting controversial because do you remember sick bicycles? It kind of I can't remember how it ended, but it went a bit loud. I don't remember it. There was a lot of shouting on social media Matt's about it. Matt's going this. like this. Uh -uh. I can't remember how it ended, but actually that looks like a good bike to me. This is on the Golfy Trails, Ben's bike, Golf Trails in Leitham. It's snowing in the there. Snow. Uh, it's nice. Seven five. If I'm going to pick hardtail, I'm going to go 29er. 100% go 29er. But Why would you go small wheels and make the absolute roughest ride rougher? So, um, I mean, that doesn't mean it can go above a nice for me. No, it's but, nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah or it's, I actually don't know the um, ins and outs of sick bikes, but it's a I hardtail. Remember, I love hardtail. I'm not going to speculate, but I do remember it getting quite salty online. Okay. Maybe people have bought bikes and then get them. I don't know. Uh, okay. On to trials bikes. How do you feel? I'm never in the trials bike in my life. I have 20 inch wheels? Yes. Is that, that has got to be 20 inch, surely? Yep. Andy's Echo 20 mod trials bike. Yep. Well, um, obviously they look like they should be stood like that because the bar, actually the bars aren't crazy on this, but the stem is, what's Different. that? Like a freaking 150 mil stem. I have no idea. Let's just say you can't go to the shop on it. I'll be proven wrong, but you can't sit down on that thing. Um, I, no, How can you sit on that? I mean, they're doing, they're good for doing one thing, and that's trials. Hopping on big rocks. Could you even ride that thing in a skate park? 
Uh, people can, but it's literally they're hooking on everything. Basically, like yeah. front wheel up, hook, get up on the back wheel. Blah, 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 blah. To me, it looks unreal, incredible. Look how close the oh. chain is to the seat stay. Yeah, whatever it's, seat it's stay. parallel. It's it? literally parallel. Like it's designed to get up obstacles that you shouldn't. You look at it and go. I can't even climb that, but I can what, get up on a bike. What I find is like trials has never been my thing. I like watching it, but I'm, I'm like, I've never done it. I've always been about riding fast. Mm. But where I can, I mean, maybe this, I am biased, but I look at a Daniel bike and I think oh, that looks cool. Look at trials bike and I'm like, I don't get it, but cool. No. <laughs> I don't I, think it's. I, it's I, obviously for doing it, like I would put it in the meh category. Yeah, uh, yeah, meh. But yeah, you, you feel I feel like your vibes are better than that. Well, it's meh. nice. It's, is it? It's fit for a job. It's fit for a purpose. It does the job oh, great. Right. I think we'll stick it with meh then. Okay. Uh, now we're on something very controversial. Mm. Actually, how can, can how can a man, okay one thing? Can it's a Del full suspension mountain bike. Wow. With drop bars. You say that. They were <laughs> they weren't very. But he's got dual suspension. It says it's a flying V. I, I always thought it was a Super V, but I'm, it could definitely be proved wrong. I actually don't know what it V says that Super is. V active on the chain. What thing. V is that? You know what? When I was a young, like I used to read all the magazines when I, these were around, and I always thought like that was a bike I could aspire to have, but never. I thought, just don't like the look of it. They made a Daniel one with like a crossbar, a top tube on it. They look somewhat better. And they made the triple clamp fork as well. Well, they just welded in the bike. Pretty, it looked like that, pretty much. <laughs> Probably the same angles, but it's kind of... I know Martin, if Martin was... Oh, he would be like... Ding, 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 the ding, headshot ding, ding. just didn't work. I remember pushing down and they're like... Gunk, gunk. It's terrible. What, the uh, shock in the middle there? Yeah, and the, fork. the fork. But someone's put chosen to put like a kind of gravel... It does say Super V Active. It does, but... On the, yeah, on the, that's, on that's the, what I said. So this is Joe's bike. Um... I don't know. He said it. He's, he's turned this into a gravel bike, basically. I would definitely put that in the oh, super or meh category. 100% <laughs> Can I say it? Like, now we're we going on. I, I've oh. got previous. Now I know, no. I, I think I know what you're going to say about this bike. Yes. This has inspired me to become a free rider because of the La Jondeki brothers yeah. out in Spain and became Red Bull athletes, they were, they were the, for me the inspiration yeah. to, to which, free ride. Which I was get. on the Kona, the Kona Clump team. I get that, but then yeah. I, I raced a, a Kona. Maybe it was good for free ride, not racing. Stab, and it was a heavy SOB, and it was horrible. I always wanted one. 2001, maybe I wrote it, it was terrible. My so. brother got one, a stinky deluxe, I, I nearly ripped his arm off. I was like, please, how can I have it? And he was like, no. To me, I it kind of looks like I loved. I do like Kona. My first ever bike was Kona, so I've, I'm definitely like the nostalgia for me is strong. But this looks like an Ellsworth inspired Kona. Do you know what okay, I mean? yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, the seat the stays, big, seat stays seat, up. I like they're too vertical. Yeah, that swing arm is massive. Long swing arm. Top. Fabian Burrell did win world champs on a bike quite similar to that, but meh for me. Are you going to go, you're going to go strong? I'm going, I'm going, it's not a super nice come on, man! All right. Free ride inspiration! I mean, we'll have to compromise on nice, I suppose. Okay, <laughs> So where are we going? Go in the middle. Nice? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Yeah, nice. Now, how do you feel about tandems? Okay. I've been on a tandem with Mr. Ashton down A line. Break, 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 break. Let go, let go, let go, let go. Oh no! Oh. Whoa! Holy Infamous A line. Not a normal tandem. It's not a normal, but it's a tandem. Yeah. And it is unreal scary. But when it is all about teamwork, it it's is. all about teamwork, and you will know your friends or you'll get to know your partner a lot more if you ride a tandem. I, I once rode a fat bike tandem with Dan Lloyd from GCN, and it was scary. I was the guy up front, and I was like, oh, out of control. No, I would I was be like, like I, hope, I hope you're in control, because I'm. this is like, you're leaning, I'm leaning, we're tank stacking down trail. <laughs> so I feel somewhat like, I, I, I mean, I don't want to <sighs> throw him under it. This is actually a ProFlex 856. Well, I, can, I can see where they got the name from. It, yeah. Flex. But that, that back end, I recognise. <laughs> Profess. And then a, a B1 frame. What's a B1 frame? But I can't remember what a B1 frame is. Well, it's, um, it's, you get the A0, and then you get the B1. <laughs> what? Okay, who makes that? 
Oh, yeah. It looks like he's real well made, but I am. I feel like I'm jaded by riding tandem, so I can only go higher. I can only yeah. go to a nice on a tandem. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No, there's only one tandem that's super nice, and that's Mr. Ashton's because it's unreal. No, it's not. But this is. <laughs> that's me. Uh, no, <laughs> we're on to a dirt jump bike. Oh. This transition PBJ Mark. Let's go. It's smoking, that bike is so hot. The guy <laughs> is obviously into bar spins, tail whips, it's single speed. It looks actually really good, doesn't it? Try, fail, repeat. Now that's an absolute dirt jumper saying right there. Oh. Try it, fail it, repeat it, nail it. That's what it should say underneath it. No, I didn't get that bit, so maybe he hasn't nailed it quite yet. No, true. I always feel like these dirt jump bikes, single speed bikes, uh, they never look that good, but you know how much fun they are to ride. Yeah. So I, in you know, I give them benefit of the doubt, and I feel like that is a. I would say that's super nice. I would say that's super nice. I think it's super nice. The thing is, why. you can tell by the cable wrappage around the steerer tube underneath the stem. Yeah. That is bar spins or tail whips. It doesn't look like it's well used because you just. I don't know. Well, it's probably a fresh build, man. That's why he's got smoke. That's Look good. at his garage. Look how incredible. Look at all the spanners and the, it's... All right, we have ranked your bikes and the worthy winner is on screen now. We're going to rank your bikes again in a few more weeks and we'll see what comes out on top. There may be a prize. We haven't decided yet, I guess. Ooh, don't know. It's the first one. And you are free to disagree with us. Get involved in the comments down below. Tell us if you think something is way better or worse than we've voted, I guess. Hey, if you're a Cannondale fan... Um... You're not welcome here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Only if you're Mr Ashton. I am joking, of course. <laughs> Retro Cannondales, I feel like I've had my... Oh, I've had my fair share I've of them. I've enough. I want to see some more other retro or stuff. Or show not... some new Cannondales, at least. Come on. Yeah, please. Right. Anyway, yeah. get involved, comments down below, and we'll see you again next time. We'll rank your bikes. See ya.